The man came to the hospital with a big belly to give birth. The doctors thought he had eaten too much. However, when the man took out a pregnancy test and tested it on the spot, the results shocked the doctors. The test results surprisingly had to bars. The doctors had thought that there was a quality problem with the pregnancy test. How could a man get pregnant? But just then, the man experienced fetal movement, and all the signs proved that the man was indeed pregnant. But the man does not have a uterus. How did he get pregnant? The doctor concluded that the man had undergone gender reassignment surgery, meaning that he was originally a woman, but the test results were different. The man had had any gender reassignment surgery. He was originally a man. Not only that, but the doctors found that the child in his womb had grown hair and teeth. And for a while, it became a medical marvel. It is important to realize that if a man can't give birth to a child, this will inevitably affect the market in the future. Television reporters filled the hospital room and took pictures of the man. Yet the doctors still didn't believe it was true. After all, it was impossible to get pregnant without a uterus. So they examined the man once more. Yet it was this examination that the doctors finally figured out the mystery. Although the man had human tissue in his body, it wasn't a baby, but a teratoma that was parasitizing the man's body. It turns out that the man was a twin, but while in his mother's womb, he accidentally devoured his twin brother instead of dying. However, his brother stayed parasitic in his stomach, and as he grew older, he now had hair, teeth, and other human tissue as well. It was his brother that caused the man's pregnancy hormones to rise, which is why the pregnancy test gave a false positive. This teratoma must now be taken out through a caesarean section, or the teratoma will continue to draw on the man's nourishment until it dies. Finally, the man was wheeled into the delivery room, accompanied by his wife. And when the 15-pound teratoma was pulled out by the doctor, the crowd of onlookers still couldn't believe it was real.